So I guess. Okay. Uh, welcome, everybody. My name is uh, Terry. I'm the server hardware lead in WeWin. So today I'm going to uh, talk about the very interesting uh, product concept from WeWin. This is the uh, 3U high performance uh, accelerator systems. Okay. We, we have the nickname of that, it's uh, Dr. No. Probably you know the, uh, the movie of AI. This is one of the characters in, the, in that movie. Okay. Okay, so uh, what's Dr. No? And Dr. No simply put it there this way. Dr. No is the one of the external PCIe box. It's a PCIe carriers to carry all the, uh, the PCIe, uh, like a graphic cards or the accelerator cards. We don't make we don't make the accelerator cars, but we have the we build the carriers for that. Okay, so the features of that is that they're going to the resource pool is going to support up to four hosts, so it allows to connect to the four hosts through etern, external cables. And the on this uh, accelerator pools, it can support up to sixteen by sixteen PCIe devices, or you can. You can use like a 32 by 8 PCI devices. Okay, so here's the module design. So it's a four PCI drawers. You can see the four PCI. I'm not sure it's the PCI drawers. You can pull out and maintain very easy. And the we have the on chassis management, and the the power supply is a two plus one redundant. I'm going to focus on four topics, four key points of the Dr. No. So the module design, and the management, and the flexibility, and the also serviceability. Before jumping to the first uh, module design, here is the block diagrams. So you can see that this is the Dr. No. Actually, if you, you, uh, this is the external host to connect to. So this is the Broad diagrams, you can see there's a four baseboard drawers, so each are identical. And the, we have the one I.O. modules to connect it to. So you have uh, internal connections to two baseboards. Okay, I'll talk about more details later. So the module design. As you know, the module, this each drawer is actually the PCIe interface. So you can just pull out the drawers and plug in the other one, or whatever is a PCIe devices you can put in. So the current design is they have the 97 lens PCI switch on that, on the best board. So that means you can have like a four by 16 PCIe or eight by eight PCIe slots on the baseboard. And the, also, there's two I input or output on the front. So one for the host, the other one for the daisy chain or cascading to the, uh, the second baseboard. And the, uh, we do have the four additional power supply, uh, power connectors for the high power accelerator computing devices. Okay. And the, also, like, uh, Maybe you are not going to use uh, the, com the accelerators. Probably you can plug in the uh, uh, Fusion IOs, like a flash, to become a main, uh, very uh, powerful or performance, high performance storage. Okay. So, on the management, we have the on chassis management. We use the uh, speed chips, and the, uh, definitely they will offer you the temperature sensoring voltages, power consuming, and the also you can control the fan speed, LEDs, and also the, all the configurations on the uh, PCI switches. So interfaces, the interface here means that connections to the host or to let the, uh, the users to config the BMC or the PCI switch. So you can direct have the connect from the host through I square C to configure the BMC or through the network to configure the PNC to read the BMC and to configure the PCIEs. 
So we think the applications of this doctor now, we're going to support, be, be part of these fields. So we are collecting data, we are collecting the applications uh, from, the, uh, from everybody these two days. So we hope this can help on this, but I believe there will be more. So if you do have some uh, inputs to us, maybe you can, we can exchange the, uh, the information to make it uh, the doctrinal better. Okay, so for the applications, this is the flexibility for the applications. We believe if you can only, if you connect to four hosts through the external cables, that means each of the, uh, the drawers, the TCA drawers, is direct attached to the host. This is a typical case for using. Okay, so that means uh, each one, it can have four PCIe GP GPU cards to attach that, attach to the host and have the acceleration compute powers. Um, if you need more computing powers, acceleration powers, you can just unplug two hosts, take up two hosts, because they already have the I.O. modules and already have the internal connections. So that means each host can direct connect to eight PCIe cards, the graphic cards. And I also have other crazy ideas if you want to support one host with 16 PCIe's, we, you can just add another, like retimers or the, some PCI, external PCI connectors on one host, so offer like a two by 16 outputs. So you can also connect to the, uh, the IO modules to make it one host to 16. If you don't want to do that, you can just add uh, external cables, because also daisy chains, everything daisy chain. So it's so one host to 16 graphic. But uh, I'm wondering, maybe this uh, latency is very, very big. So you probably know I'm going to use that. <laughs> but this is uh, showing the, uh, the capabilities, uh, the flexibilities to connect to, to the doctor nodes, to the, uh, the your, maybe already have the, uh, the service in your, the, in your rack. So the original design on the doctor node is we designed to fit into the 19 inch rack. So this is the whole, the, uh, the everything in 19 inch racks, this is the 3U high and the uh, 800 millimeters depth. So everything is the front access. The power surprise is also front access. And the fan modules is the rear, you can service from the rear. So everything the design is uh, based on the 19 inches. However, we are thinking about if, why not just share the same design and put into the 21 inches of CP rack. It's an easy way to do that. So you just, because OCP rack, everything is from the front. So the pass bar, bar, you just change, you change the whole the rear side change the bus bar and the, uh, the fan module, so just keep the same, but it's just, because these are uh, individual fan modules, you just plug into it, so it change the, these uh, rear panels, <coughs> they'll be easy to fit in the, uh, the fan modules, and the reroute the uh, external cables to the front to have the fix here. Then this, the, uh, this is 21 inches chassis, that allows you to fit into the 21 inches OCP rack. Okay, this is the flexibilities, flexibilities and also the serviceabilities. So I put one page of the summaries to talking about the, uh, the, the doctor notes. So 
modular designs. You can say modular design baseboard support up to 16 by 16 PCI device, PCI graphic cards. Management abilities, you can have the unchased BMC, also easy to monitor or config the system. And also the flexibility is a configurable resource input. And also it's a 19, brain, 19 inches rack and also extendable to 21st. 21 inches rack. Definitely, surface is a very toolless design for the whole the compute cards and the power supplies and fan modules. Okay, I think that's it. So, any questions? Short presentation, so we've got plenty of time for uh, some questions. Yep. Does anyone have any questions on the design? Or if you want to see the more yeah, the systems, so you can come to our WeWin's booth at B3. Yep. Okay. If anyone doesn't have any questions, thank you, Terry. Thank you.